can't you find any use for me here? Huh. All of these people are absolutely out of their minds. How is it possible that no one can see that in this moment, I am the one who has lost most of all? Oh goodness, what an honest dunce I am. What a moronic thought for you to have had, Miss Hedda. These creaturelings have no concept of how to comprehend actual reality as I do. This cursed insight that has been bestowed upon me has only brought with it a lifelong disdain for what is the grandeur of high intellectual capacity. I am living such a revolting conditions with nothing but my own wits to help me survive. Love board, how could you? There must be no remembrance of you, no celebration of your cowardice. I have done everything possible to eradicate your existence from my life, your insatiable ghost. Now you have usurped my husband into reconstructing your work from his ashes. And he has your empty-headed love scribe to assist him. Just think, Desmond. Now you'll finally be able to dedicate your life to a work more boring than anything you could ever produce on your own accord. Just think. That scoundrel, Breck, dreams of me with every absent look that I return to his self-contained ravenous gaze. His unfortunately astute observation about the true origins of Lovborg's guns has cost me my free will forever. What treachery! Is it possible that I have no escape from this trap that I have carelessly fallen into? How inconsiderate is it of the lies that I live to have turned it back on me so shamelessly? I have done nothing but endure this tiring existence, trying to make do with the impossible fit of creating a tolerable future for myself amongst the company of this merry fools. Now, with this genius idea of Tesman to summon of Borg's words from the dead, I can no longer see a reason to continue acting along with this false charade. Is this the gratitude that I must receive from having maintained such a benevolent attitude towards the overgrowing vines of idiocy that crawls up the walls of my lotsome home? From now on, I shall be quiet. Tasman, you blind to it. Inviting that woman to live with your aunt? Nor I would wish such an horrid fate upon that annoying busybody. Everything's falling apart at my feet. How can this be true? There's only one thing that's certain. If I'm to break free from these chains that bind my very soul, I must do the saving myself. No one here is capable of understanding the extent of the injustice that has been presented to me. These are circumstances that are too unbearable for any human of sound judgment to live under. I must ensure a solid escape route. But how? We are going to have some good times together, your cretin? Huh. I see now. I see what must be done. I see what's left for me to do. If there's but one thing this mindless joker should see to know who Heda Gabler truly is, let my exit be a final reminder of the heights that they will never be able to climb. Let me now bathe in the waters of the true beauty that I am meant for. Yes, that's what you're hoping for, isn't it, Judge? You, the one and only cock of the walk. 